It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up next, it's a cross-conference showdown. Great game in store for y'all on Monday night. This is a city that's hosted more Super Bowls than almost anybody else. And, uh, oh yeah, Brock, they've won a couple of their own along the way, too. We're in the home of the Buccaneers, Tampa, Florida, and Raymond James Stadium. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And, Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage, Maybe six points, too. Justin Tucker has this all teed up. And we're off from Tampa. Bucky Irving now to return. He stopped on the return of the 27. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. I'll raise my hand is one that was reminded once again why Baker Mayfield was the number one pick years ago to Cleveland. He expressed it last year from beginning to end in Tampa, resurrected his career, led these Buccaneers to a division title and a playoff win over the Eagles. And by the way, earned a new contract to stay down there in Tampa Bay as a starter. He's always had the moxie. He's always had the fight. Last year, he had the consistency and the attention to detail to take his game to another level. Drive starts with a carry by White. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And he heads out of bounds. Great pickup on that run. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. That's complete, Mike Evans. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, Pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. Ball at the 33 for first down. Baker now from the gun. Grabbed by Chris Godwin. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six yard pickup. Tackle on the play by Marlon Humphrey. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Man in motion headed right. Second and four. Well, very quick throw, but they couldn't connect. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. You gotta secure the pick before anything else. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Baker throwing again. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. On fourth down, the Buccaneers trying to put three on the board with Chase McLaughlin. There's a 40-40-yard look from the right hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. In the opening drive, the game ends in three points. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lot. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points.
McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. On the return, here comes Justice Hill. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So here now are the Ravens on offense to begin their first drive. And then brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game, it's Lamar Jackson. A decade plus before Lamar, it was a guy named Michael Vick who was the standard for dual threat quarterbacks. Well, today, that standard is Lamar Jackson, who at his best is an MVP caliber player, the most exciting player, not just in his position, but in all of football. And don't let that running overshadow the strides he's made as a passer to in the pocket and as a franchise quarterback to build upon. Here's Derrick Henry getting in on the ground. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Second and six coming up here. Another run for Henry. And he's caught behind the line for a long. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling their running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Well, it looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. The penalty makes this third and two now. Play action. Here's Jackson. Henry on the catch. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed, enough to keep this drive moving. Ball on the 45, first and 10. From the gun, a run for Henry. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Hey, range? Range is not an optional feature for middle linebackers in today's game. Uh-uh, it's a prerequisite for the job. And this guy definitely has it. Followed that play from the start, and he ended it with a loss. All right, here we go. Second down. Play fake, Jackson. He's gonna push one deep down the right. Had the window to go deep, but just couldn't make it happen. Now it's third down. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after that prior incompletion, we got third down. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Complete beyond the marker. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good for a Ravens first down. And in motion out of the slot. First down. Here's Lamar. Play drives them backwards, second down, coming up. All right, first sack on the board, and the first drive is a defense, and now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin, because we know pressure leads to sacks, and sacks in this league often leads to wins. Everyone's prepped, it's second down now. Receiver in motion, headed right. 
This is Henry on second. And he's brought down for a loss. We get a stoppage here. One of their big blockers up front. In some pain following that play. He's being attended to. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Mayfield on first and ten. Got his target. It's Otten. They're working a couple of yards past the line. Stopping that play, Trenton Simpson. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into the coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Godwin, the man in motion left. Second and eight. Called in by Godwin. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40 yard line. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. They picked up a good chunk and there was nearly room to add even more. Battle coming up on third and inches. They kick the running back in motion. Third and short, Mayfield. On the target to Godwin. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45 yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. As quarterback, when you have an out route versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy could turn the hips of that defender. And once you see that, you got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Out of the gun, White. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. That's to his back. Here's Rashad White. He gets it forward for a gain of three. Justin Matabike making that stop. You know, Kate, it is so hard on these defenses to try to keep an eye and monitor on these running backs when they leave the backfield, especially if he's waiting to chip a defender or delays in the start of his route. He's really an underrated part of their overall passing game. Baker out of the pistol. That one was incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And fourth and four coming up. I think everybody on the offense was already thinking about the next play to run as they watched that short little throw to the tight end. They really don't expect to see many of those gimmies dropped. the distance but headed well left no good and they are unable to double their lead 
Well, once you get out beyond 50 yards, everything in the process has got to be perfect. It's a good effort, but it's going to wind up off the mark. The Ravens offense returning to the field for their second possession. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. The Ravens in a very good field position as they come up first and ten. Gets it here to start the drive. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane of field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. They send a tight end in motion. Going to the ground again on first. Another big rip for him. And he's finally stopped right at the start of that red zone. Down at the 20. They managed 22 on the rip and a first down. That is textbook RPO right there, Kate. Okay, quarterback decision making comes quick off the snap. And that back, you know that he's already looking for those lanes before the ball's even in his belt. Before that defense can adjust to the run, he hits that second level. They send Aguilar in motion left. First down from the red zone. That's taken in by Henry. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. Okay, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. But one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke. Taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Lamar now from the gun. So this one on the defense. He got too aggressive to try and stop that play, and they tag him for pass interference. From the gun, Jackson. On the move, hit it right. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens pull ahead 6-3 in the first. It's a Lamar Jackson touchdown. Just a great effort there from him, Brock, to take it upon himself, embrace the initiative, and turn that drive into six. You know, Kate, there was a day when you were watching Steve Young or Randall Cunningham, and that felt like a bonus touchdown. <laughs> but that's not today. It feels like every quarterback's got to be able to score, be a dual threat on the ground. It's part of an offense every single team relies upon. Justin Tucker to try the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Ravens take a four-point lead. Runs fielded at the four-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Here come the Bucks on offense now. They left a few on the table there last time out, Brock. Settling for a field goal, trying to miss the mark. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. From the gun, Mayfield. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. The best defensive ends in the NFL, they don't need to win sustained battles to get home. Nope. 
Sometimes, Kate, all they need is one quick move, and they're into the backfield blowing it up. Offense to the line for second down. Godwin, the man in motion left. Trying again, following the set. Finds his man, it's Godwin. Has some daylight through the 40. Still fighting forward. Chris Godwin! It's a Tampa Bay touchdown! The Buccaneers just need two snaps to steal the lead. It's a Chris Godwin touchdown! That score was less about the throw, although it was good, partner, but it was more about getting it to somebody who knew exactly what to do with it. Well, Kate, it's a good thing the touchdown shows up on both their stat sheets, because sometimes, well, it's quarterback who delivers, and sometimes it's the effort after the catch that really makes the magic happen. On is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Buccaneers push their lead to three. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. He'll now to return it. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Baltimore running its offense out now. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Rolling from the gun. He's got Andrews. And he's going to be brought down up the 28-yard line. Second and three now. So the officials are officially on board tonight for the first time with flag flies, Sonny New Berlin. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump, and well, they got one of them to move that time. They'll run here, following the penalty. He'll drive it forward, but won't get beyond the line. Yayan Diaby brings him down. No gain on that one, and now it's third and eight. As that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field, all I'm thinking about right now, Kate, training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Jackson now on third. Escapes the pocket. He's running for it. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays right before the snap. You know, if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. Just a field goal separates these two. More from Raymond James Stadium coming up after the break. beginning the second quarter Ravens in possession they'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten and he won't salvage that it's a loss on the play these edge defenders in the league today Kate they've got so much on their list to do a huge to-do list they gotta get to the passer they gotta set an edge and they gotta stop that run game not just on the end of the line but in that case right in the middle of the field 
Motioning one of the tight ends. Second and 13. That's him on a quick hitter. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. All plays on the table here for third and three. Jackson throwing here. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. It's a four-yard gain, and that's going to get him across the marker and earn the first. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. I know that may look like a whole lot of nothing burger on the stat sheet, but those are the kind of plays that inside run that you see creative play action come off of later in the game. Second down now, seven to go. Running once more with Henry. And he takes it past midfield and starts to drive into Buccaneers territory. Four yards on the pickup, and that's gonna leave him with third and three. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. Now Jackson on third down. This finds likely. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. Tight end that moves the chains on third down. That's a QB's best friend. Ball on the 45. First and 10. And out of the gun. Henry. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. That's Antoine Winfield Jr. up to make that play. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. kickers in situations like this the loneliest guy in the building sometimes you forget those goal posts they're only 18 feet six inches wide and this time he might have rushed things a little and it winds up no good Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. Godwin, the man in motion left. First down, here's Baker. It's into the hands of White. And he 
has it to the 42 before they make the stop. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. And it sure keeps the defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. One of the tight ends in motion left. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. So for those of you keeping track, we get a solid completion for decent yardage on first. And then we go backwards on second. Kate, I guess we got a quality rubber match right here on third down. Here they come. This is third and five. Baker now from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. field now from the gun a little off center his man just couldn't adjust to it hey Kate I know it's unrealistic to expect a hundred percent completion rate from anywhere on the field but in this close you really shouldn't be missing too many throws those need to be borderline automatic so after the incompletion here comes the second down call going again is Baker going the out route complete and he's gotten down to the 30 before going out. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. From the gun, a one for White. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because it's money down and they want the ball, but a third down run for a first down can be so demoralizing to that defense. First and ten. Here's Mayfield. And that's a Tampa Bay touchdown! Now the second time we've had the privilege of calling a touchdown pass to him in this opening half, Brock, and you're starting to get the feeling and he isn't done yet. Well, but defensively, Kate, you got to do something different. It's kind of like a pitcher who gives up a home run and then a second home run to that same guy. You are not going to give him a pitch to hit, and this defense has got to start taking this receiver away. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Buccaneers make it a 10-point ball game. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. He'll now to return it. Good looking return here, and he's got room. And they finally bring him down after a huge return into their territory. Sometimes our eyes up here in this booth can deceive us, because when he started racing down that sideline, I thought he was gone. In a lot of cases, he is. But let's give some credit to the effort of that special teams unit right there defensively. Getting in the way of that touchdown now, 
Well, their defense needs that same type of hustle, that same type of effort, because they're going to be defending a very short field. to be right there. Just get the catch first, guarantee some yards, and then worry about escaping the defenders and getting upfield. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Now here's Lamar. He'll get this to Henry. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. Here's Henry on the option. And he got what he could there, rolling to the 14. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. work there tiptoeing along the back line the concentration was there great catch for six yeah the concentration and the body control I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age there's no space to work with yet they have such an awareness to secure it first to tap dance the line and go get that touchdown Tucker adds the PAT and the Ravens cut it to a field goal game down here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. <laughs> he was doing all he could to find a completion down the field, but they were all over that check down and ready to turn it into a negative play. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Again, this is White. And he found some running room for a nice game. 
70 yards on that run. Now it's going to be third down and four. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Third and short, Mayfield. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And fourth and four coming up. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, well, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. Hunt team is on now, and they get this away. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. The Ravens and Zay Flowers ready for another look on offense. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And the Ravens will go on offense. They're out and set. First and ten. The drive begins with Henry. They'll only get three here as we've reached the two-minute warning. situations both sides feel good as an offense i get a completion i get a win as a defense i keep everything in front of me i make the tackle for a short game i get a win too sometimes you can't get to win win that's it out of the gun on third andrews with the catch and he'll pick up enough to move the chains well they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards that's no easy job mind you tackling a big tight end but the main damage had already been done kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone up. First down, here's Lamar. Finds his man, it's Rashad Bateman. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Putting one of the tight ends in motion right. Jackson's going to throw again. Taken in by Likely. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. Now we're going to have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. See how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Lamar throwing again. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. He was looking for Mark Andrews. And it's going to be second down. I think everybody in the building was already thinking about the next play to run as they watched that short throw to the tight end. That's a gimme. You don't expect to see many of those drops. Again, it's Jackson to the air. He's got Andrews. And he's able to get this down to the 36. You put up the combine times of tight ends running a 40-yard dash, and they certainly don't run as fast as the safeties or the corners in this league. But when you get them going in the right direction and you get them dragging across the field like that, well, they can still do their damage. And again, it's Jackson. Flushed out of the pocket. Oh, he's going to run. This is down to the 28th before the defense halts it. 
He manages a gain of eight there. And that's good for a Ravens first down. As much as you'd like to find a completion and get the ball out of your hands, when a play breaks down, you've got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on his ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that. Justin Tucker for the field goal. This will be a 45-yard look from the left hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's going to tie us up just before halftime. Well, he moved past that earlier miss pretty quickly here, Kate. Nice to see that. And now he can carry a little momentum with him to end this opening half. zone Brock but with our new kickoff rules in place that's gonna cost them the football's coming all the way out to the 30-yard line one last play before the break a final throw before the break and he's not gonna get something done they take him down so that's how our first half's gonna end a momentum building play for their defense. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports halftime reports. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. scoring games no doubt you have been glued to your television so far and no signs of slowing down as we begin our second half his return makes it up to the 25 the Ravens and Derrick Henry making their way back out on offense and they could take control of the second half early Brock if they break the tie on this opening drive starting first and ten. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Gets him on the in route. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate. But it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Only took a one play partner, and they've already made it to that 40 yard line. Running back sends in motion. First and 10, here's Jackson. Gets this one to Andrews. And he breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. Joe Tryon show Yunka gets there to take him down. The defenders, they were ready for that throw. Stopping him right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. One of the tight ends motioning right. From the gun, Jackson. This finds likely. 
Dodge going to touch him down after a short pickup. And that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, that's a go-to route to target. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Jackson yet again. He has the first over the middle, and he'll pick up enough to move the chains. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. Finds him over the middle. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Third quarter starts with a run from Henry. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. But partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Here's second and 11. This one's Andrews out right. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. It's their Nate's need to get a chunk here. Lamar back to throw. Complete beyond the down at the 36. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. A play like this, that's exactly where you want to get him the ball, right on the outside, where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. First down, ball at the 36. Man in motion here. On first down, Jackson. Complete. He got the feet down, but it goes out right at the line of scrimmage. A whole bunch of credit goes to just about everybody on that offense. Guys up front, they didn't give the QB enough time to let that play develop. Excellent effort by that receiver to stay alive and for the quarterback to scan the field and find his completion. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Short pass caught by his tight end. He's contained at the line for no gain. Chris Braswell there for the tackle. The rookie out of Alabama there on the tackle. It was as if the defense knew what play was coming. That was a play they knew they could defend, and boy, did they ever stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Jackson now on third. not shy about sending him downfield to try and stretch that secondary even still. One of the deeper targets you'll see him get. It's a shame they couldn't find a connection. Ravens call it on Justin Tucker for the field goal. Ball spotted on that right hash. 53 yards out. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there and he did. And they've taken back the lead. I know we see these kickers make kicks from this distance all the time, but it never ceases to be impressive. Everything's on the dot, and it's a big three points. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. It's going to be taken in at the 8. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield ready for this next possession. 
and he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also, he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Baker now off to play fake. Lockett isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. They call play action. Would have been better to actually give it to him on a carry right there, Kate. The front was fooled. Well, for about a split second, if that. And that play call ended up working in their favor as it leads to a sack. All right, here we go. Second down. Another try following the sack. Complete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well, no look on his first look of the game. So now it's going to be third and long. You know, quarterback's going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws, they'll find a drop at some point, too. Third and long for him here. Chased out to his right. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. There is no question this defense has risen to the occasion of prime time tonight. There's also no question that this is a window into the kind of beating quarterbacks can take when you can't protect him. He's going to have to use all week to get his body right to hopefully hit the field next week. Buccaneers out and into punt formation. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. His first effort went 47 yards. Brock looks to have a little more into this one. And little to nothing on that return as the coverage team gets to him. That punt gets up to 59 yards. And they're going to take over possession. We see the Ravens making their way out now. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. The Ravens in a very good field position as they come up first and ten. Flying down the middle with Henry. Derrick Henry, the touchdown. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers. And what a big-time effort. Tucker on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Ravens make it a 10-point ball game. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. On the return, here's Irving. Good looking return here, and he's got room. Time for us to get another look at this Tampa Bay offense. 
And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. They've got first down from the 31. Baker now from the gun. Got a man, Palmer has it. And he'll get it up to the 44. They gain 14 on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. He did such a good job of not just hitting him in a window on that slant, in the right window, but hitting him right in time, right in a spot where he had room to run and add on to that catch. First and 10, it's a give to White. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. I don't know, kid. I didn't think he had it, but that back did. He knew exactly where he had to get for the first down. Pops up right away and signals first down. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Has it done field work in the left? And in, touchdown Tampa Bay! The Buccaneers shrinking the lead some in the third. Mike Evans with the touchdown. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period, yeah. end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Buccaneers cut it to a field goal game. Set up and it's away. Just a three point game now. He'll now to return it. Find some space. He's past the 30. The tackle's made, so this drive will begin at the 34 yard line. The Ravens back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. So anytime you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. He finds Aguilar. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain a 10, first down. 
You know, he never stared him down, but that was such a good job by the quarterback to keep his eyes downfield, keep working as that shallow cross, those crossing routes so devastating for zone coverage. chunk there that's Antoine Winfield Jr. up to make that play you know that's a good run right there keep the offense on schedule if he can average that type of yards per carry this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show second and six coming up here caught by Flowers and he's tackled after gaining a handful Pressure on him. He was not backing down for a second. Nice effort to carry the rock. More importantly for his offense to get a first down. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Lamar now from the gun. Completed over the middle. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Second and three now. Finding Flowers. And he's got it inside the 15 before going out. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation. You also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. They'll come up first and ten. Here's Lamar. The throw is caught. And he has it down in the eight-yard line on the play. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Here's Henry. Tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. From the gun, Jackson. Great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're going to miss. You just got to shake it off and keep shooting away. Third down pass didn't work, but the offense staying out there on four. From the gun, a run for Henry. And that's going to be a touchdown. It's on the board for now. But will it stand? We've got to see what this flag is all about.
So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Justin Tucker out for the field goal. A lot of pressure hovering over this kick. This is going to be a 32-yarder from the left hash. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And they're going to grow their lead late, but still a one-score ball game. As much as that can help them breathe just a little easier on the scoreboard, it doesn't take away now any of the tension this defense is feeling. They're going to need to step up, come through with a stop right here. The drive will start out with a first and ten. The drive starts with a carry by White. And he's going to take this one to the 25 before going down. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. The one thing I could say positive about the execution of that play is at least he didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. They put a receiver in motion right. Here we go, second and nine. Finds a seam down the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. They run the counter with White. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Hey, look, any run of this size is going to wound the defense. But you get this game going right at the heart of their defense, you start to break their will and break their pride. Here's first and ten from the 34. From the gun, Mayfield. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll get this down at the 33-yard line. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Up the middle, here goes White. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down. But instead, they move the chains. And that is one disheartening look on that defense. A new set of downs, forthcoming. It's first and ten. Here's White again. And he's able to take this down to the red zone. He stopped at the 17. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. That's what I call a rhythm starter right there. The offenses love execution and plays like that on first down, Kate, because now that playbook is wide open. All options on the table for second down. They'll empty the backfield and motion him out. Finds his man. It's got him. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. A five-yard gain on the play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Hey, Kate, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game when Pete Carroll was there. If he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top. Stay on top. Stay on top. 
You'll give up a short little off route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. First down, here's Baker. Receivers want the ball everywhere on football fields. <laughs> but you start yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. The touchdown brought it even, and this try can give them a fourth quarter lead. And he comes through on the kick to give him the lead here in the fourth quarter. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Hardy on the return. This return makes it up to the 25. Visitors returning their offense, and this running back to the field. It just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for that? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. He's got this at the 27, and he's brought down before the return gets far. Officially a 55-yard launch, and the Buccaneers will get set to go on offense. for first down. Mayfield now from the gun. He did it! He made the interception! Picked up by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens have some new life in the fourth. Well, Nickel has really become the base defense for so many teams in the league because the passing game is 
become so prevalent today. It really makes it so much more difficult to find an open throwing lane. It gives defenses a lot more speed on the back end to step in front of passes just like that. The Ravens trotting out their offense. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series block. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Lamar off to play fake. Bails out of the pocket quick. He can run it. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm. Especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing he woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep him moving forward. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Shotgun snap to Jackson. That one's cut along the left side line. And he's out of bounds just inside the red zone. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. Brings the offense up now for a first and ten. They send one of the tight ends in motion right. First down, here's Lamar. Finds him over the middle. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. You've heard that very common term in draft vernacular called catching radius. Let me tell you, as a quarterback, you love tight ends on drag routes because that catching radius for such a big target, then you see him, you eye him. And there's a comfort level between QB and tight end to make that connection. Well, it looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. Thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. So now, following the penalty, it's first and goal. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Jackson yet again. By trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And they're headed in reverse after that sack. Get into the red zone and every detail matters. It matters on the whole 100 yards. But, Kate, once you get inside this red zone, it is so critical. And let's tip our cap to the defense on the details, creating that sound. They held him out twice. Here we go. Third goal. Looking to throw. Forced out to his right. And the ground game works for the touchdown. The Ravens take a fourth quarter lead. It's a Lamar Jackson touchdown. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. And how about the other side? Beating a defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. So here's a big play from the Ravens as they line up for two. Jackson throwing for it. And this is caught, so add a couple more to this lead they've got here in the four. That's about trust. Trusting your QB is going to make the right decision on these crucial scoring plays. He found his read, and he made the connection for two.
Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. This return starts at the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Buccaneer offense back out for another series. Still time to go, Brock, but that touchdown has him down now seven. They've got to find the end zone here. They're out and set. First and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Got Evans. It's complete. Pick up a few as he heads out of bounds. Now here's a spot where the timing's got to be absolutely perfect, Kate, between the quarterback and the receiver. That throw is made before that receiver's ever thinking of coming out of his cut. Too early, it's incomplete, too late, and it's headed the other way. From the 30, on second down. On target to Godwin. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. Third down, one yard to go. with the first down yardage. Pick up a five on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. We've hit the two in the warning here in Tampa. Buccaneers down by seven. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Baker now from the gun. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Here he is to throw. He's on the move. And he got there in time. He's taken down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Time we offered some serious blanket praise for this entire group defensively. The guys up front, they've certainly generated the pressure. Everybody on the back end in coverage, well, they're holding down their assignments to delay these throws. This is going to be one tomorrow, one fun tape to watch, because six sacks are to come by in this league. Now this is incomplete. Took the check down for granted. He's lucky that wasn't picked and taken the other way. Fourth down coming up. You feeling lucky? Well, do you? Well, he should because the quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on fourth. Now to throw. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Timeout taken by the Buccaneers. They're first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Two timeouts remaining and some time left to use them. It's first and ten. Looking to throw it. That's going to be caught by Evans. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. Tampa spends its second timeout now. Still one more in their pocket to use. to the line for a new set of downs. Only a lone timeout at their disposal. To throw. Taking a deep shot there on first down. Okay, no luck connecting. It's incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one, Kate. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back on track. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. 
throwing now. Escapes. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. Let's be real clear, there is nothing lucky about number seven at all for this quarterback. The seventh time he's been taken to the ground for a sack. This defense, they've made adjustments. They're incorporating a variety of different looks and blitzes. And it that could be it, folks. It's intercepted. Picked up by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens make the play that should win them this game. Okay, Brock, now back-to-back -back drives where they have picked him off. That's got to be a worrying trend for these coaches who know how integral the passing game is to their game plan and their success. Those poker players, the best of them, when they figure out a tell, they know exactly how to beat their opponent. This defense right now, they're reading this quarterback like a book. Into the victory formation they go, Brock, here on first down. The Ravens in victory formation and content to just need this one out. And that timeout taken by the Buccaneers, and that's their final one. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. With the win in hand, they'll take the knee, let this clock run out. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So the Ravens will fly home with the win. This is the type of game everyone was hoping they'd see when they entered this stadium, Brock, you and I included. A close one that went all the way down to the final whistle. And Kay, this is one of the bigger adjustments a college player has to make to the NFL. In college, you get a lot of blowouts. The NFL, every game you get calloused because mm. you know more often than not, they'll be like this, a one possession game that's not about how you start, it's all about how you finish.